Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com, and in this video we'll be working with our help desk extension for our live forms module. So let's get started. What I have here is a default installation of DNN 9, and I'm logged in as a super user. Uh, I already have two pages created. On the first one, I have live forms, and the second one, I have our live help desk module. The objective of this video is uh, to collect data from live forms and automatically create a ticket in Live Help Desk. Now, the setup is extremely simple. First, make sure that in your Live Help Desk module you have the form channel, uh, I'm sorry, the HTTP post channel enabled, and you can give any secret key value you like. This could be any value. Just make sure this is enabled and you have a value specified here. After you're done that, you can go to your forms and set it up. So let's go ahead and do that. To save time, I'm just gonna uh, go to mandeeps.com and take a look at the Live Forms Gallery. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the bug tracker uh, template so I don't have to create the form from scratch. I'm just gonna copy this and simply go here, go to sharing, and I'm gonna say uh, copy a form and paste that here. So I have a form to work with and here's a bug report form already set up for us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of CAPTCHA because I'm trying to keep this demo as simple and as straightforward as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add a subject and a message field here, which we can use for our ticket. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I have a subject and I have a message field here. I'm gonna make this record. I can make the message field a little bit bigger, so I don't know, 80, that sounds good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add an action. So I'm gonna say whenever someone submits this form, so on form submission, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create a ticket. Remember, you will only see this option, help desk create ticket, if you have the help desk extension installed for live forms. Now help desk ticket, it's, uh, help desk extension itself requires that you have at least version 4.2 of live forms running and version 1.21 of live help desk running. I'm just going to call this create ticket and here we're going to specify which live help desk module to create the ticket in. I'm just going to choose mine here and you simply then map your fields. So which which live forms field do we use as full name and I already have these. I'm just going to simply map these. I don't have a phone field or a category so I'll skip those. And I do have a subject and a message field so I'll map those. I do have attachment field as well so I'll map that as well. This is the file upload field. And then any of the fields that are not mapped I can I can append them in the the message. So I'm going to go ahead and check this. That's it. That's that's how easy it is to do the integration. So. We're, we're done here. I'm going to go ahead and do one more thing and that is I'm going to say after the ticket is submitted let's redirect the user to our live help desk so they can see uh, they can see the ticket. So all I'm going to do really is uh, say redirect to help desk. That's just my action name. And here's the URL for my help desk and I'm going to say add action and that's it. Now I can give this a test. So here I'm going to fill this out, test message, oh well, it's just a test subject, test message, and remember these fields were mapped so we'll see them and here's some custom fields that we should see then in uh, our uh, message. Uh, I'm just going to say bug description goes here, steps to reproduce goes here and then we can also definitely attach a message uh, I'll just attach the image and I'm going to go ahead and hit submit this will create a ticket for us and automatically redirect us to the help desk like we see you can see the ticket just got created and I can see it here if I click on it I see uh, the subject I see the message I see the person who created it um, I also see all the custom fields are now included in the content and we do see our attachments as well. That's it for this short video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, please do open a support ticket.